So welcome to episode 5 of my channel Small Journey to Monetization. In this series I talk about my YouTube journey while being a parent and having a full-time job. If you're new here, welcome! I share updated information every week or two about my YouTube channel's growth and evolution. I disclose everything, what I am doing and what I plan to do in the following week or two. So it's been 14 days since I made a video in this series. Since then I have uploaded one long form video and three shorts. The long form video covers a trendy topic for many small creators under 500 subscribers. And if you're curious you can check it out using the card above or the link in the description below. So if you have a channel with fewer than 500 or 100 subscribers, I encourage you to watch it. Because I talk about managing to make and upload videos while having a full-time job, the benefits of starting a YouTube channel and the challenges I faced and how I overcome them, but also the skills I gained and how I use them to monetize these. For this video I use my traditional workflow of scripting, recording, editing and optimizing. I'm very curious to see how this evolves in the coming weeks as I've seen many small creators gain traction with this type of video. When I researched this video topic and title, it had a VidIQ score of 77 with around 45,000 searches per month. And if you're not using VidIQ or don't know what VidIQ is, I'll leave you a link in the description for a tutorial I made a few months ago. Now going back, to create this video I watched the top 5 creators in the search results for this topic and got inspired and make my own version. For this I shot some b-roll that I struggled to find in stock video libraries. And after 2 days of recording b-roll I had to use some stock videos to better explain what I'm saying visually. Now for the script I used ChatGPT to write me an outline tailored for small creators including their pain points and desires. I also did some research with ChatGPT to find out the age ranges for most new YouTube creators. ChatGPT is a marvelous tool if you know what you want and want to make content specifically tailored for your audience. And after getting the outline, I scripted the entire video and recorded it. This time I want to visually represent the topics I was talking about. I used a notebook and set up my phone to record while I wrote, similar to how I present at work. So I think it is a good choice and this video is different from others from the same topic. For the thumbnail I exported one frame from the video recording and used Canva to make the thumbnail. I made three variations, blue, red and orange, to take advantage of YouTube's test and compare features. And if you don't know about this feature, I'll leave you a link in the card above. Because this tool lets you test three thumbnails and show you how each perform. Now if you made it this far in the video, write me in the comments which variations of the thumbnail you saw when you clicked on this video. I used these three colors intentionally and got inspired by the color psychology. Because red invokes excitement, energy, strength and love, orange evokes confidence, success, bravery and sociability, and blue evokes trust, peace, loyalty and competence. Use these colors wisely depending on the emotions you want to trigger for your audience. I will leave a link in the description for more information on color psychology. I'm curious about which thumbnail will be the winner. And after the test I will choose the best one but also experiment with a different thumbnail to see which attracts the best viewers. Regarding my channel settings, I changed the titles for each episode in this series in order to target YouTube's browse features. I used ChatGPT to give me 10 title ideas for each episode based on the script. This way, I was able to tailor the title to evoke curiosity and maybe attract some new audiences. You can check them out in the YouTube monetization side hustle playlist on my channel page and let me know what you think about these new titles. For the following week, I plan to make a video tutorial about one of the video editing softwares I use. I haven't decided yet if it will be about iMovie, Final Cut Pro, CapCut or Adobe Premiere. You will find out when I upload it in the following week. I also uploaded three shorts about the Elgato Wave Neo microphone and the Boya Level Air microphone. The two Boya shorts didn't perform very well, totaling around 45 views, but the Elgato video did very well with over 450 views. I think it is because this is still a trending topic and we'll see how it develops in the future. Now for my channel's analytics, 14 days have passed since the last episode. I have uploaded one long form video and three short videos that gained me around 21,000 impressions and a slightly increased average view duration. The click to rate decreased going back where it was in the episode 3. I gained 12 subscribers 
but I lost 5. Regarding lost subscribers, I found that YouTube sometimes unsubscribes accounts that haven't interacted with your content for a long period. While it might be worrying, I understand that YouTube might be cleaning up fake accounts and trolls. My channel would be at 160 subscribers if it were all still there. So now I calculated around 0.5 subscribers per day for this period that generated almost 1300 views and 25 watch time hours. I like it that most of the metrics are going up and hopefully my subscriber count will increase too. So this is for this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Ciao!